Hey guys, today I just wanted to do a little product review on Skinny Bear Bass Jigs. I have a write-up on my website about them, but I just want to make a video and show you guys kind of the movement of the skirts and the hooks and everything about the jigs that Skinny Bear makes. Um, a little bit about Skinny Bear before I get started on the jigs is uh, they're located in California. They were founded in 1985, and some of the bigger names that Skinny Bear represents is Ken uh, Wick, Randy McAbb. Uh, Kevin Hawk and Justin Lucas so you can tell that these guys are really backed by some big names and it kind of just shows the class and quality that people put the skinny bear puts into their jigs. Um, the first jig that I want to start out with is the Elite Series football jig. Um, this jig is a great jig just the skirt material that's made with it. Um, this is the high quality living rubber skirt material and uh, just the movement from it. If I just shake the bait, there's just so much movement from the skirt. And if you take just this is this isn't a skinny bear bass jig, but this is this the skirt that is on this jig is just the skirt material is so thick, it, it just doesn't move that much. It, there's barely anything there. I, I mean, I haven't taken anything off that skirt there. That's the skirt. And then you just look at something like skinny bear in there. Their skirts are so full, and almost all their skirts, almost, unless you like long skirts, they need trimmed down because they put so much skirt material, which is a great thing because it just gives it a lot better action in the water. And then you can customize it to what you like because there's too much sometimes, so you can cut it down. Um, the other thing is just their hook. They use great hooks. Uh, the hooks are Gamagatsu hooks. They're really sturdy, ultra, ultra point sharp hooks. And to protect that hook and to keep it sharp, they use a weed guard on it, and that's a 24 strand weed guard, and that's gonna make it pretty snagless. And it'll also keep that hook sharp nice and strong. Um, these I use when I'm in deeper water around rocks, anything like that. These, these are great, great football head jigs. And they also, the thing I like about them too, is they use a special paint, and it's chip resistant paint. And some jig companies do use this paint, but this chip resistant paint holds up a lot better when you're fishing this around the rocks. So all in all, this is a great jig to throw in deep water or wherever you want to throw a football head jig. So check them out, skinnybearbassjigs.com. The next jig I want to cover is the Grizz jig. And this is just the, the white and pearl color that they have. And this, the skirt material is the same thing that you would see on any other of their jigs. This is high quality rubber and silicone material. And they also add, I don't know if you can really tell good in the camera, but they add these little strands that sparkle, and that really gives that bait flare, especially for that shad color. When you have shad or dying shad, and you flip that, That's this is a great bait. I love throwing this bait. And uh, they make them in all colors. It's just I thought this was a neat bait to show you guys. And the this jig has actually a special head design that Skinny Bear made, and this just slips through things really easy. This this head doesn't really, I don't get snagged up with much with this at all. Um, on top of that, this has a little thicker weed guard than the Elite Series football jig, just because when you're flipping that, you want a thicker weed guard. But if you don't like that thick, which I mean, I don't really think it's that thick at all, but I mean, if you don't want it that thick, you can trim it down a little bit, but I think it's just perfect the way it comes. Um, this again, this has even a thicker hook than that. Elite Series football jig that I just showed you guys. This has a real thick Gamagatsu hook and you don't miss many fish. If you're using strong grade line and you're flipping that, you're gonna you're gonna get them out of the cover with that strong of a hook. It doesn't it doesn't bend out at all. And at the end of this uh, review, I did a clip earlier and I was just showing you the difference between skinny bear bass jig hooks and regular other jigs from other companies. And it's it's amazing how strong these guys really do go with quality Everything about their jig is top quality. You're, you're not going to be disappointed in anything you get with these guys. And another top thing on these is their chip resistant paint. They put it on all their jigs. I know I said it with the Elite Series football jig, but that's, I really like it when you're flipping around cover and everything. You don't really, the jig heads don't get chipped because I know with a lot of other companies jigs, I'll chip the jig head with using it within a day or two. And I really, I really don't like showing different colors on it. I like it to be all that natural color if that's what I'm throwing or whatever color I'm throwing, I like it all to match. So the Grizz Jig, another great jig. This is more geared towards your flipping. So check them out, Skinny Bear Bass Jigs. The third jig I wanna cover is the Grizz Broom Jig. Um, this is also a flipping jig. And honestly, 
I don't know many companies that make a jig like this. This is a 5 out hook right in here. Short shank 5 out hook. Super heavy duty. It has a nice weed guard on it. And I, I mean, here's, here's another jig. I mean, I know this is a small jig, but look at the profile difference in those two jigs. This is their, this is Skinny Bear's um, Grizz jig, the flipping one. And you can just see the difference in that skirt material, how much this skirt is so thick and it's so long. It's just going to give a whole different look when, when the flipping bite's on and you're getting them with a jig. After you get your limit in the boat, start throwing this, and this is going to give them a totally different look than anything else. And those, those big fish, they need a different look because they're so used to seeing everyone throw a classic jig that's about this size, this material. They, they see that all the time, and when you throw something in front of them that's that big, they, they haven't seen anything like it. People think that throwing that big of baits you're just gonna, when it hits the water, it's gonna scare them or something, but try to try to throw this because this the skirt material is so long, the hook's big, you're gonna get some big bites with this. So when you're out on the water, you're trying to get that big bite with a flipping bait, throw the Grizz Broom Jig. It's a great the bait. fourth jig we're gonna cover is the Kodiak Jig. Um, this is a totally different view too from a lot of other jigs. You'll see a lot of standard jigs. This is a skinny bear bass jig that I showed you before, and the skirt material just kind of falls down, and that's how most jigs are. This is the Kodiak jig, and the jig material just kind of pops out there, and it just kind of moves around, and that's a totally different look, too. And skinny bear kind of calls this their Magnum finesse jig, and you're going to see, I mean, this is a finesse. It's a smaller compact bait, and it kind of resembles a fighting crawdad, and this has a 5 out hook. So, I mean, even though you're throwing a finesse bait, just because you're throwing a finesse bait doesn't mean you're going to go through for small fish. You can still get some big bass with this. And this, I like how it sets up. Like, it sits, and look at how much that, that hook, that bass is going to come down, and you're just going to snag right up in his mouth. So, this is a perfect jig for throwing, for finesse fishing for big fish. I like this jig a lot. Again, the skirt material, I like how... The broom jig, you can see, they use real thick skirt material. And with this Kodiak jig, they throw in that thick material. And then they throw in some silicone rubber, too, that high-quality rubber. So you get, like, the both, both different types of material in there. And you can see there's three colors plus a little different color for the jig head. And these baits are so detailed. And the chip-resistant paint, the really thick weed guards, and the good hook, it's just the highest quality. I just can't... I can't get over how awesome these baits are. There's really nothing about them that I really don't like. The last jig we're going to cover is the original Skinny Bear Bass Jig, and it resembles the Kodiak Jig that we just went over, but it's a lot smaller profile. Instead of giving it that big 5 out hook, it has a lot smaller hook on it, but um, it's still a great bait for finesse. I mean, I would throw this for finesse if you're going for big fish, but if you're just having a hard time getting the numbers in the boat, that's something real small that you're going to be able to get a limit on. And I mean, I know a lot of people don't think that that's fun catching those small fish, but sometimes in your tournaments, just those small fish will get you a check. So this is a nice, compact, small bait. And you can see with this, the, the skirt material on this uh, original Skinny Bear Bass Jig is a lot smaller, but it, it really bounces around. And I like that. It gives it some nice action, but it's, it's just a real nice, compact, small bait. And again, it, it sticks up pretty nice. Uh, the hook sticks up pretty nice and it stands up, and I really like that. It looks like a crawdad putting its pinchers up almost, especially when you have that trailer on it too. So when it stands up like that, I put a nice real small trailer in it. It goes good together. Um, and just nice quality bait again, and it's just something real nice and small to have in the boat when you're having a hard time out on the water. So these are the five uh, Skinny Bear Bass Jigs that I wanted to cover. Um, they make great products. They also carry swim baits, tubes. Um, they even carry more jigs. Uh, they make hooks. Their hooks are great. I use all their hooks. I just wanted to go over some of their jigs with you and show you what they have to offer. Um, again, they, they have a website, SkinnyBearBassJig.com. If you want to read more reviews on them, you can go on my website at AdamSmithBass.com. And I have more reviews and pictures of everything. And the thing I like about them the most is they really get on your order. If you order something from them, you'll get it that week. Or if you order it at the end of the week, you'll get it the next week. If you call up with a question or you want to make your own bait, 
Um, the owner of the company, Lauren, answers the phone. He gets back to you right away. Um, they're real. They're real good with their customers. They get your orders out right away, and they're a real good company to deal with. So if you want some great custom products, try out Skinny Bear Bass Jigs.